Hi everyone, it is Nay the Nerd and we are back playing some more 7 Days to Die. It is day 42, it is Horde Night tonight. I haven't recorded a whole lot since uh, the last Horde Night, but uh, it's basically because I have been doing a lot of just like housekeeping type stuff. Um, making sure the base is fully repaired and upgraded, uh, working on making some traps, uh, repairing turrets, um, I did a little bit of looting, not a whole lot. I mainly just went down to that one town that we went to before that is as far south as you can get. This one down here. And I went and harvested all the rest of the cars that I could find down there. Um, for some more brass radiators, that sort of thing. And I have just been, like I said, just kind of working on the base a little bit, making sure... Uh, we had everything upgraded that we needed to have, making some more um, uh, traps and kind of setting them up. I have these set up here, although now that I think about it, I don't know. I'm going to, I might have to, oh, I can, okay. Um, I was worried about being able to access the generator with these spike traps here, but we are going to be able to. So worst case, I can always go up top and, and turn them on up there as well. Um, I did also set up some electric tr um, fence traps and let's see, I've got this going on this side too and the hope is, or my goal is that as the zombies are coming around the building because they're going to want to take the path, the quickest path to me, they're going to want to come through here. Right? And then these blades are just going to rip them to shreds. That's my hope. They could so totally destroy those traps. I'm not really sure. We'll have to wait and see how it goes. Um, and then I've got these, of course, some more fence traps, electric fence traps set up back here. And I set these down here to kind of stop the zombies from moving. Um, just kind of running through it and only getting zapped a little bit. So I'm hoping that that will actually uh, kind of zap them quite a bit actually and do some damage and of course I've got my trusty turrets I did uh, put iron bars around them so that when I come in here to kind of pick them up and place them back down and reload and everything else I'm not getting swiped from the side as the zombies come around the wall here um, so I'll have like a few extra seconds to kind of escape I hope so that's what I've been doing on the outside downstairs I, if I can get down here, <clears throat> I dug all the way down to bedrock, and down here, as you can see, I've moved everything over here. I've put signs up. I know where everything is. Um, I've got my forges going back here. I've got some more uh, arrowheads being made up, and then, of course, some more ammunition for my bow being made up, and then back here... This looks like a mess right now, and it kind of is. But this is going to be my underground garage at some point. And this, I have it set up. I was trying to figure out how to do this without losing that speed as you're going uphill that you get in vehicles. So I kind of staggered it a little bit. <clears throat> Apparently, I can't get through there. there. Okay. Um, I kind of staggered, staggered it a little bit, and this is going to be our basic kind of general layout. Of course, I need to widen it, um, upgrade all of these. These will probably get upgraded to concrete just in case the zombies do come down here. But then it also comes out far enough to where they're not going to want... They're not going to pick this path, right, to get into the base because it's too far away. We're several probably about 50 blocks or so away from the base at least so I think they're it's gonna be far enough away that they're not gonna want to come all the way over here come down here go all the way down there just to try to get at me or any of my um, stuff so that that's the hope but that's pretty much what I've been working on for the last week in game is just getting all that stuff kind of taken care of like I said just general house housekeeping tasks and projects that I wanted to work on. <clears throat> so, we are nearly ready for Horde Night. I'm waiting for that ammunition to finish crafting up 
And then, like I said, I've got all this. Why is this like this now? Why do you, why do, you do this game? It wasn't like that a minute ago. Um, so yeah, I've got all that stuff crafting up downstairs. And everything else has been repaired and upgraded. And I feel like I am ready to go. Get back down here. There's one like teeny tiny little spot that you have to be looking at in order to be able to go down that that uh, that area. So I am looking forward to this horror night. I did um, up the blood moon count, zombie count, from 24 to 32. Um, so should be a little bit crazier this evening. And I also have a whole bunch of skill points. I have nine skill points that we can we can assign to stuff here. Not sure which ones I want to do, to be honest with you. Specialize in taking keen aim with rifles and wasting your target with expertly placed bullet. 10% more damage with rifles. See, this one might actually be worthwhile because we do use our AK quite a bit. But I think that's considered a machine gun, not a rifle. So I'm not sure if that will help with the AK. Let's see here. Let's look here. Spears, rifles, and explosive weapons, okay? See, nothing else really focuses on that. So... I do want to... use melee weapons a little bit more, just so that we can kind of get better with using them. I know that sometimes the hitbox on them is kind of weird and doesn't always do what you expect it to do. But since we are going to try using one of these sledgehammers, maybe it would be worth getting a couple of these points. It's one. This one is definitely of interest to me. Oh, machine gunner. There it is. Okay, so this one is actually for the machine guns. This is 10% uh, more damage, 5% faster fire rate, and 10% faster reload. That... That might be worthwhile to... Simply because we do use our AK quite a bit. Let's go ahead and get this as well. Let's see here, what, we, what do we have in our agility that we could do here? Hit fire accuracy is improved by 5%, and movement penalty is reduced 20%. Okay. Is that for every. Thing that we shoot? Like, would that apply to our bow as well? I'm not sure. Interesting. What's this? Okay. That one might be okay because we do use our rear force club quite a bit. over here. Turret syndrome. See, we need intellect level 7 before we can upgrade that. This is for stun baton crafting. And damage. Which I'm not too worried about. 
So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the this here. And that one. And all right. to get the next one is the machine gunner but I'd have to use a couple points in that first. Yeah, which I don't want to do. So I think what we're gonna do So we're gonna do that one. And then we're gonna do healing factor. There we go. We've used up all of our skill points, so now we're we're completely ready to go. And <clears throat> let me grab this ignition down here and let me get some more going. So I have it ready. <clears throat> Let's do a hundred here, and let's do the rest here. Is that right? Oh, I needed more. That's why. of our ammunition being crafted up. So we are just about ready to go. I am looking forward to this. Yeah. Okay. So we've got everything. I wonder if I have any mods we could use on our steel sledgehammer here. Let's see what we've got here. Barbed wire mod. I think that would work on there. Uh, I wonder if this would work. I don't think so, but let's let's try it out. Won't oh, work in there. Oh, that's. Unfortunate. We're gonna have to find some more mods. <clears throat> Definitely gonna have to go and find some more mods for our weapons here. Uh, let's see here. In our ammo. Is ready to go. Uh, I think we are ready for Horde Night. I will turn on all the traps in a few minutes when we're ready to go. All right, it is Horde Night. I have all of my machines up and running, and spinning, everything is wired up and powered. We are ready. We're ready for these zombies to come. They're gonna be here any second. 
right. I have no idea which way they're coming from. Let's see here. Aha! I 
figure out why this isn't really
See, why did that not hit her? I don't understand. Trust the old uh, barbed wire stick here. <clears throat> nope. <laughs> Definitely need to reload all of our turrets. trap is turned off as well. Why is that? Did it just take too much damage? I don't... I don't know.
This way. I need to figure out what's wrong with these blade traps. Can. It's real quick, like. I'm not gonna be able to get back up that way. <laughs> so we're gonna go out this way. Kinda nice to have a backup exit. down there. Shoot. Oh, hello. It's alright though. You guys are more than welcome to follow me over here. That might give me a chance to repair these real quick. I'm gonna put some more engines in and see if that helps. Cause those are doing a lot of work on the zombies. Oh gosh. Why?
Come on. Come here, you. Why? This is what I don't understand. Here. Oh, jeez. That was stamina. Okay. Come this way. Anybody? There's an irradiated feral. Jeez. Out <laughs> of stamina. Okay. Hey, this sledgehammer is doing pretty good. Just saying. To get just a little bit of distance. No, come on. Thank you. You guys can come over here. A very persistent cheerleader. It's too 
40. We've got an hour and 20 minutes left to Horde Night. Oh my gosh. to know why it's so hard to hit them with this. Apparently, it's not any easier to kill him with a bow. Oh, I'm stuck in a rock. All right, stop bleeding. Thank you. All right, listen, lady. If you guys could stop, like, jumping around, that'd be great.
Because it's really annoying. Try these steel ones, see if these help me look better. Why is it that the regular zombies are so easy to hit and kill? At some point, we will be done. Goodness. And they probably all despawned by now. Let's go see. Actually, before we do that. Let me take what I have left here of my 762.
Well, I'm not sure how I feel about that Horde Knight. It was going really, really well in the beginning. Oh my god, you guys, why? Why you gotta tear my base up like this? I'll come to your house. And I'd like to know why these stopped working. Because they have gas. Are they just too damaged? Looks like they were really damaged. Alright, I'm gonna have to see what we can do to repair them. Because if it's just a matter of if they just needed repair... shouldn't have been a big deal. Let me run down and grab my, uh, went the long way. Grab my <clears throat> nail gun and a little bit of metal. Let's see if we can repair this. Probably forged iron. Make some forged steel just in case. That's what it is. Hopefully they just need a repair, because if I had known that, then I would have just grabbed my nail gun and repaired them. <clears throat> we could have kept going. Yep, they just needed repair. Okay. Looks like they needed the steel. Alright. That's... I can live with that. I mean, for as much as they were helping... Definitely, definitely worth... Having them going like that. So, okay. Cool. I can turn that off for right now. And then these... They're on. They, I guess, they got beat up too. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. turrets. Oh, jeez, that almost hit me. <clears throat> oh, shoot, I forgot to reload it. Those turrets and these were definitely helping. They were definitely making a big chunk of difference in damage to the zombies, so that was nice. And these... Okay, good to know. Good to know that if they get damaged like that, then they turn off. So definitely need to have some forged steel on us and our nail guns so we can keep those repaired throughout the night. Because those definitely made a huge difference in... Oh, jeez. In the zombies and damaging them. These poor things. So yeah, 
Now that I know what happened with those, I hadn't played around with these much at all lately, or at all. Um, I know I had one set up for one of the Horde Knights and it got destroyed within a matter of like two minutes. It wasn't, there wasn't that much of a, a noticeable impact that it made, so I wasn't quite sure if I should keep trying to use them or what, <clears throat> but knowing now they work great and you just gotta keep them repaired. I think they should be super helpful in future Horde Nights. I almost wonder if it wouldn't be worth it to have one set up like right in here. That way as soon as they come in, they fall into it and die. That'd be awesome. I might have to to think about that for sure but I think that is gonna wrap it up for this episode thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe so you can see me fail next time and speaking of which I will see you next time bye